The said a dog is man's best friend, and a new photo gallery opening this weekend aims to prove they're everybody's best friend. Steve Dahlgren is the owner of Dog Grin Photography, and he is behind the new exhibit at the Monroe Art Center this weekend. Steve, good to see you. Welcome good to back. See you guys. So before we tell we talk about the exhibit, tell yes. us a little bit about how your photography business started, your dog grin photography. Boy, I was just looking for a niche, kind of. I've been a photographer for th uh, 30, 40 years, and it's just, I was looking for something very specific, and I just kind of combined my love of dogs and animals with, with the photography and kind of just went from there. You were a Madison firefighter? Yep, Retired? 24 years, yep. So does that, that help at all in this, dealing with the animals? Uh, no, I... I don't know. I guess it may have. It's just uh, I've never been bitten. Anything, so. <laughs> well, <laughs> I consider people, myself lucky. What's the secret? I mean, yeah. I try to get pictures, and you just don't turn out like Patience. yours. That's what I was going to say. Your pictures are incredible, Steve. Thank I don't you. know how. That's now, my dog right there. Look at the smile That's on him. Dog. Yep. Uh, so it's patience, uh, waiting it out. Uh, just <laughs> Ten years of doing this um, pays off, and so just anticipating, you, you kind of setting yourself up for success. For oh, uh, there's uh, Jeff Lenzen. He used Bills. to work here. Yep, many many years ago. Um, but it's just a lot of uh, repetition and uh, and practice, I guess. And you got some big cameras here. Do you need yeah, all, you need this? Do not. No. Um, I I've taken some some great photos. I've seen tons of great photos with just a cell phone. You know, those cameras are so good in the in the cell phones now. And it's it, it's kind of a problem. <laughs> you know, it doesn't cost. You don't have to process anything or anything. But I would always just tell everybody if, if you, to kind of make them pop a little bit more is you have to edit. So it, that's really the key. You mean on your phone or on yep. with your camera? Yeah, or in the software. Yeah. Oh, okay. So tell us a little bit about the show this weekend. So the show starts tomorrow. Good weather for the going to a photo show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, there will be no spiders there. I will <laughs> guarantee you that. There will be dogs. Some of them will be wearing uh, tuck or ties or oh, bow ties that's anyway. Great. Uh, so it's it's just a show about um, kind of the communication between people and dogs. And I, I have a book at home. It's called How to Speak Dog. And I always I believe that there's some people kind of know the language, the invi kind of invisible and unspoken language of humans and dogs. But um, it's it's kind of about that. It runs from tomorrow until uh, middle of November. Oh, great. And the art center down there is really, uh, really, really nice. It's uh, It's got a modern section for the galleries. And then it's got a performing area, which is an old Methodist church. And it's right in downtown, right near the square. And did you I don't know if you knew this or not, but there's cheese in the world. <laughs> really? Yeah. There's, and there is going to be cheese at the show, too, as well. Cheese and wine. And so how do you talk to a dog? Uh, I think a lot of it is just um, it's kind of subconscious, obviously. We're, you know, they, they, they get go off of the vo voice commands and things like that. Um, I try not to use any kind of food or anything like that to try and get them to do what I want. Um, I, I, as a, I used to be a photojournalist. So it, I, I try not to uh, set things up too much. Um, a lot of it is just them being them. And that's kind of what I want people to take away is 10 years from now, 15 years from now, I want them to be able to look back and remember what the dog was doing in, in kind of their natural state. I don't do any studio work. It's all on location. You get, that's, you get an authentic moment exactly. that way. Yeah. And, and they're more comfortable that way. And, and if you, the dog's happy, you're almost guaranteed to get good shots. A couple of years ago, I was fortunate enough to have you shoot my dogs yep, for a story was, we did. It was, and it was amazing. It was just all natural, no posing. You just, yep. you just shot a lot of pictures. Right. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of photos <laughs> involved. <laughs> and they're amazing pictures, yep. too. It's great memories. That's all right. Fun. One more time. It is starts tomorrow. Everybody's Best Friend by Steve Dahlgren. Opening reception, 5 to 7. Gallery talk at 5.30. Free and open to the public. And if people are interested in hiring you, dahlgrenphotography.com. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Good luck. Great to see you, Steve. Thank Good you. Good to see you again. We'll be right back with a final check of your forecast. We'll play back.